evening, everybody, and welcome to the Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium for tonight's matchup between the Holy Cross Crusaders and the Holy Redeemer Royals. Pleasure to give you the Battle of the Holies tonight. One located in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania in Holy Redeemer, and one in Dunmore, Pennsylvania in Holy Cross, and uh, two members of the Diocese of Scranton. Two programs just trying to do their best to get a W and fight their way through a season. Our national anthem. Getting ready to get underway tonight as Holy Cross and Holy Redeemer will have a few words. I want to thank our friends at Manuka Subaru. It's all we do. They're open tomorrow 9 to 1. They've got 42 Subaru Outbacks in stock. They're located at 4141 Bernie Abbott Music. They got Ascents, Foresters, Cross Treks, Legacies, and Prezzas. Toll free. Give them a call 888 903 8015. Visit them online at Manuka Subaru. Com. So we will get to some football action tonight. The Tonkanic Lake Lehman game. That game has been postponed or it is off. We think it's off. You're not sure what's going to happen, but there was a situation out at Lake Lehman and they had to make a determination. They didn't have enough time to contract contact Trace. So they decided to cancel tonight's game. And that, of course, has been the case here in northeastern Pennsylvania. It's just been a very difficult sports season. But nonetheless, kids are thrilled to be playing some high school football, some soccer, a little cross-country, tennis, and so forth and so on here this season. So it'll be Holy Redeemer receiving the ball. Kicking it will be Wyatt Walchak for Holy Cross. He's a 10th grader, 6'3", 190 pounds. So it looks like Zach Perda back deep uh, for Holy Redeemer. Matthew Schuler will join him. As we get underway here, between the Crusaders and the Royals tonight. And it's a squibber. It's going to bounce down right around the 24-yard line. Going to be taken by Schuler. Schuler trying to meander his way forward before he was brought down near the 31-yard line. So here come the Royals on offense. Of course, we're excited to bring you some high school football that might not get as much recognition as they deserve. These kids are out here. They're fighting hard. They're working hard. And they just want to play the game of football. So uh, we're excited to be here tonight at Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium. So the Royals will move somebody over to the right-hand side. 
Michael, a little gun look. They'll bring a guy in motion. They'll hand that off quickly and running around that corner before he's biffled there. It looks like that is Zach Perna. So Perna trying to shake and bake. And a nice job there by the Holy Cross defense of sniffing that thing out. Well, it's going to bring up second down. And they'll say he lost a couple on that one. Now they'll give it straight ahead. And rumbling forward is Schuler. He's brought down by a host of Crusaders. He gets up to the 35-yard line. So it'll be some positive yardage for the Holy Redeemer Royals. That'll bring up third down and seven. So here comes Holy Cross. Trying to see if they can keep things buttoned up here defensively. They'll send over Perda to the far right-hand side. And they'll work out of the gun. They'll roll over to the right-hand side. Ormondo. And they got an interception on that left-hand side. Intercepted by number 11, Sean Herbert with the pick. So Herbert picks that thing off. And now Holy Cross is in business. So a nice job by Holy Cross. They will have first and 10. So here comes Holy Cross. Going to operate right now and see what they can do. They will have the ball spotted at the 30-yard line. So Sean Herbert is under center, the guy who made the interception. High backfield to give it on that right-hand side and trying to run forward and trying to get a little bit of yards as they try to spin around. Looks like Gavin Grems. So Grems gets some positive yardage. He'll get six. It'll be second down and four. So fullback is tight to Herbert, and now we're going to get a flag. So this is probably going to back up. Oh, it's going to move forward. Holy Redeemer, uh, Holy Cross, it's offsides on Redeemer. So that should be a chain gang mover, first and ten. for Holy Cross. So the ball is spotted down to the 20-yard line, 9.28 on the clock. So here comes Herbert under center. And now we got another flag down. See if somebody else is offsides. Looks like a false start is going to go against Holy Cross. So that will back up the Crusaders, first and 15. I want to thank our friend Jen Ricky State Farm in Dunmore. Give Jen Ricky a call, 570-346-9626 for a free discount double check. Being there to help keep some of that more money in your pocket. Jen Ricky State Farm located in Dunmore. You can check her out on Facebook. Holy Cross, pitch out to the right-hand side. They'll run the rock, and they got room. And running down inside the 10-yard line, still on his feet inside the 5 is a good run there by number 23, Logan Tierney. 6-2, a buck 95. So a great run there by Tierney. It's going to be first and goal. So 
So looks like they're going to spot this ball right around the seven yard line. So first down from the seven. High backfield, little movement on that left hand side, fumble in the backfield, and they pick it up. So coming over there quickly and defensively were the Royals. So a nice job there by Holy Redeemer. So that'll back them up a little bit. It's going to be second down. They'll back that up to the 12-yard line. So a loss of five on the play. Here comes Holy Cross now. Pitch to the right-hand side. And nice tackle over there. It'll be Christian Leon taking down Tierney. So Leon is into that backfield and does the job there for Holy Redeemer. So that'll bring up third down. We'll pretty much spot it right where it is. So it's going to be third down and 12. Thanks for joining us tonight. We've got two things going on here in the John Mandola Show. We've got Dallas and Berwick girls soccer, and we've got Holy Redeemer and Holy Cross football. We're proud to give you both events live here tonight on the John Mandola Show. Here comes Holy Cross. They've got Herbert under center, offset eye, and too much time? It is. It'll back up Holy Cross here five yards. So that's a boo-boo there for Holy Cross. It'll be third down. I'll say third and almost 17 now. So let's see what Holy Cross can dial up here on a third and 17, under seven minutes to go. Here in quarter number one on the John Mandola Show. Offset eye. Scissor backs. They'll give it straight forward and not getting much up front was Cameron Mazolski. So Mazolski 5'10", 150 pounds. He is a junior. That'll bring up fourth down. Let's see what Holy Cross wants to do here. They throw out the kicking block saying, okay, we're going to try to kick it. So fourth down at 13. And so this will be spotted right at an extra lineman, and they'll bring him out. This will be spotted. It'll be a 30-yard attempt here for Holy Cross. Here's the kick. It is tipped, and it'll go down, roll down, and Holy Redeemer comes up with it. So a good job there by the Royals of getting in and getting their hands on it. Caleb Hurley was the guy who dove on that ball. So first and 10 now for Holy Redeemer. After that little miscue. I want to thank our friends at Comet's Law Firm. They are full-service law firm serving clients from the greater Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area, Allentown, Philly. Let the injury lawyers at Comet's Law take care of your case. 570-829-1111 for Comet's Law. Give it the right-hand side, and they got some room and kind of spin it around the running back, Christian Leon, and he goes out of bounds. So that's a good job there by the Royals as it is a chain gang mover for the Royals. And now we have a timeout. So we got an injury right now on that far side. Want to thank Chris Jones and LSEO. It's an award-winning digital marketing service company. It helps businesses in Northeastern Pennsylvania rank higher on Google and generate more revenue with digital advertising. Headquartered in the former five-story guard insurance building in downtown Wilkes-Barre, 
LSEO is a resource to help ignite your online presence and visibility. Learn more by visiting me at LSEO.com. I want to thank our friends Chris Jones at LSEO. So they're tending to our injured player. It is a Crusader over on that far side. Thank uh, the athletic directors, J.P. Aquilina. And, of course, our good friend <laughs> Al Calais up there at Holy Cross. And Ben Tallarico, the principal of Holy Cross. He's fabulous. And we hope this young man here from Holy Cross is okay after that injury on the far side. We'll get somebody else running on over there. The gentleman for Holy Cross will take a knee. Holy Cross is a Roman Catholic private high school in Dunmore. It's proud to support our Crusaders on the court and on the field and on the cross-country path and the tennis courts. Lots of positives there at Holy Cross. If you're thinking about a quality Catholic education, consider the team at Holy Cross High School. Financial aid's available. Schedule a show shadowing visit in the top 1% of SAT scores in seven counties. We're an NEPA, of course. That's... They've got some great athletic programs here at Holy Cross High School. We are about family, faith, education, community, and athletics, and we are committed to excellence. So we thank our friends at Holy Cross High School tonight. And this young fella is okay here for Holy Cross. Coming up a little slow, and we'll come over and make sure everything's okay. So from here, that looks like that is number 26, Gavin Grems. I did tweak something. So when you look over on the Crusader sideline, we've got about eight subs. And over on the Redeemer sideline, they got double digit subs. That's definitely a tweaker. He's coming off very gingerly. We hope he is okay. What a gorgeous night for high school football here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Absolutely mild and beautiful this week. Temperatures in the 70s. Here come the Royals, a holy redeemer here on a first and 10 after the chain gang mover on that last play. They will give it again, and it's their back. Christian Leon. No, he kept it the quarterback. How about that fake? Fake me out, Cattell um, Ormondo. That was a total fake me out. And Ormondo does the job. He gets down to the 49-yard line. So another first and 10 here for Holy Redeemer. Two first downs in a row. I better keep my eye on that football. 5.32 on the clock. Armando's got Leon right next to him. He's got to give it to Leon. Leon now spins. He makes a move. He's got a first down and a little bit more inside the 33-yard line. And his helmet comes off. He'll have to leave the field for a play. Unless oh, Leon will head out. So that'll be another chain gang mover, first and 10 again. So that's three in a row. Five oh eight on the clock. Remember, Redeemer threw that interception on their opening drive. <coughs> Excuse me, two receivers over to the right. All kind of guys in the backfield, high snap. They give it to Schuler. Schuler still keeping his legs pumping, but a flag comes in late, close to a first down. Let's see what they say. Gonna go back, looks like a hold. So 
So that's what it is. So it'll remain first down. It'll be first down and 18. Two receivers over to the left-hand side here for Redeemer. Schuler gets it. He's still keeping his legs bumping, but the interior line of Holy Cross brings him down right near the line of scrimmage. So a nice job there of Holy Cross playing defense. It'll be second down and about the same. So the Royals will head in that huddle and try to figure out their next play. And now we got a timeout here. Holy Redeemer. I want to thank the Cody Brace Memorial Foundation OTAP, Organ Transplant Assistance Program. The foundation's mission is to keep the spirit of Cody Jude Brace alive and promote awareness of organ donation to raise funds to offset some of the costs that families face when awaiting organ donation. The Cody Brace Foundation. Check them out at the Cody Brace Foundation.com. Want to thank our friends as well at McCarthy Tire, located in Wilkes Bear. They're open tomorrow morning. So, looking to get that service. Hey, looking at snow tires this time of year. Never too early. Head to our friends at McCarthy Tire. They've been doing it since 1926. Family owned. Maybe you want to grow your family with theirs. That family just keeps. Having some nice young children and getting another generation going there at McCarthy Tire, located on Kidder Street in Wilkesbury. So Holy Cross trying to stretch out Gavin Grems over here on the sideline. So here come the Royals on second down, 350 in the first quarter. And we got movement up front. Looks like Holy Cross jumps off. So offsides here on Holy Cross. It's a free five. That'll make it second down and well, it looks like it's closer to 12 than 13. I'm going to eyeball this up. So we've got 5, 10, yeah, let's just say it's 12. <coughs> Scoreboard says 11, I said 12. I'm right. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. All right, so two receivers are over to the left. They will have that gun look with the guy in the backfield. It'll be Schuler. They'll throw the ball over the middle. They got a wide open receiver near the 20 yard line and still staying on his wheels inside the five and it is a touch me down to Tate and Jindra Jeske. So just a little instant offense from the 35 yard line and it is a score for the Royals. Here comes the extra point after that 35-yard rainbow connection to Jendra Jeske. And now it is the extra point. Kick is up, and it is good. So Dunlavey puts that through. It is now 7 to nothing. Holy Redeemer. I want to thank our friend General Agent John Hulick and the Knights of Columbus. Providing members and their families access to insurance products from a financially strong and ethically sound company. It's John Hulick's mission to ensure that brother Knights are being provided the protection and service they deserve. Call John Hulick, 570-574-1419. 
permanent life insurance, term life insurance, call John Hulick, 570-574-1419. So we are in quarter number one. So they will boot this. It's a short little kicky down to the 41-yard line. And that's where Holy Cross will start things out. Here comes Holy Cross now to get this offense working on first and ten. We'll give it on the right-hand side. Find a little bit of wiggle room and out across the 46-yard line. Goes the big running back as they gave that to Logan Tierney. 6'2", 295, or 195, 295. That would be a heck of a running back. So we're going to say that second down and four. It's a long four. They got to get to the 49 yard line. So we got an H back over on the right hand side, offset fullback. We'll give it on the right hand side again and try to bowl forward there up towards the 48 yard line. They'll get a little bit closer. Go the Crusaders of Holy Cross. A run in the rock there. That is Cameron Mazolski. So it's going to be third down and about two and a half. Don't think we have a graphic for that. So I'll go with third down and two. Yeah, it's about two. Here comes Holy Cross now. 2.09 on the clock. First quarter, John Mandola with you here on the John Mandola Show Network. They'll go straight forward, right-hand side, and got the first down. Go the Holy Cross. Crusaders and still pumping his arms, his legs, and moving the pile forward. What a run that is. That's a pure muscle. Logan Tierney. And that offensive line. But credit to Logan Tierney of just churning and burning those legs in that particular situation. Well, here come the Crusaders of Holy Cross. Time ticking here in the first quarter. Buck 36 on the clock. We've got a good football game here. Holy Redeemer leads 7 to nothing. They give it to the fullback straight forward and nice hit out of the linebacker there. So a nice job up front. That looked like Ormondo on the hit. So they'll give him a one yard run there. It's going to be second down and nine. That looked like that was number 22, Mazolski, on the little scissor work in that backfield. So they bring out one of their big linemen up front, Chris Petrucci, 6'1, 250. He's only a ninth grader. So I backfield, bunch of tight ends, and Redeemer, it looks like they jump off sides. They are getting very antsy up front and bringing the house. So this ends up going against the Crusaders. 
but it looked like the Royals were just being really antsy up front. That might have caused a little bit of jitters up front. So now it'll be second down and 14 after that five yard penalty. Left hand side and Holy Cross gets down to about the 35 yard line. Gavin Grems who got banged up a little bit earlier. He's back in, he's healthy or than he was. He'll actually back that up to the 36 yard line where it'll be third down and about 10. That'll be the final play of the first quarter to the score. Holy Redeemer 7, Holy Cross nothing. Holy Cross looking to do something. We'll be back here for quarter number two. Here we go, Kearney on the right-hand side and a big pile over there. And Holy Cross will be faced with fourth down now. So they will spot this thing at the 33-yard line. So it's going to be fourth down and eight. Holy Cross looks like they're going to try to go for it here. They trail the Holy Redeemer 7 and nothing tonight. Quarter number two just underway. Quarterback is Sean Herbert. Long count. Herbert's going to throw. Throws a little pop pass. He's got his tight end right near a first down. Wyatt Walchak. There's not too many plays in the Holy Cross Offense for throwing the ball, but Wyatt Walchak is there. He's 6'3", 190 pounds, and perfection for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Great execution. They trail by seven, but they are going to fight and claw and do everything they can here tonight here at Wilkesbury Memorial. See, we're over to the left-hand side. That'll be Tricolo. Fumbled snap by Herbert. Who's going to fall on it? Big pile. Of course, Redeemer all pointing that way. And the referee's trying to get in there and see what the heck is going on here. And it is the Royals football. Coming up at the bottom of that pile, 52, Dan Schuler. want to thank our friend Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home. Compassionate care, professional service, servicing the greater Wilkesbury area. 
two locations, 617 Cary Ave and 451 North Main Street, 570-826-0600 for Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home. So a change in possession after that nice pass there for Holy Cross. Holy Redeemer now, we got a timeout. And they're going to have to figure out what's going on there. So we had a timeout on the field as we thank our friends at Cody Burry's Memorial Foundation with OTAP, Organ Transplant Assistance Program, the foundation's mission to keep the spirit of Cody Judah Brace alive. And it promotes awareness of organ donation to raise funds and sets off some of the costs for families when face awaiting organ donation. Cody Brace Foundation, check them out. The Cody Brace Foundation.com. John Mandola with you tonight. We've got two events going on. We've got this football game. And we've got Berwick and Dallas playing soccer tonight also on the John Mandola Show. Beautiful day, beautiful several days. It will start to get a little bit cooler. So here comes Redeemer. They will give it, and they'll give it to their running man, number 22, Leon. He gets tripped over there by Tierney. And that'll bring up second down. So it looks like about second down and six. So Redeemer, two receivers over to the left-hand side. They got the gun look. They got Leon in the backfield. They'll give it to Leon. They'll fake it to Leon. They'll run for the quarterback. Gets rid of a would-be tackler. He's got a first down a little bit more. Gets over to the 40-yard line. So a nice carry there by number eight, Ormondo. So that'll be first and 10 for the Royals after Armando got rid of a big bad lineman there. Nice job by him and now the officials talking and making sure they got everything all set. Holy Cross gets some defensive guys over where they belong. 9.37 on the clock, we're in quarter number two. 9.37, I said, on that clock. Here we go. 7 and nothing Royals. They will give it Leon. Leon trying to find a hole. Leon's got a little bit of wiggle room, and Tierney takes him down at the 45-yard line. So that's a five-yard gain. It's going to be second down and five. So if you're... Into soccer, it is two to one Dallas. Very late in the game against Berwick in girls soccer tonight. Two receivers over to the right hand side. They'll throw somebody over to the left. Ormondo looking to throw Ormondo out in the flat. He's got a guy and makes the shoe a little catchy. That was a nice job by Ginger Jeske. Made that catch out in the flood, flat. It'll be third down and three now for Holy Redeemer. Thank our friends at McCarthy Tire Service located in Wilkesbury, 340 Kidder Street in Wilkesbury. You can stop by tomorrow morning. They are open. Want to get that car wash in McCarthy Tire? It's right next door at McCarthy Tire. You can get your winter tires and, of course, 
Car wash, as I said, open tomorrow. Guess what? Now we got a timeout, Holy Cross. So Holy Cross thinking about, all right, 8.13 on the clock. We better take a little time out here, and they do. Trailing are the Crusaders to the Royals tonight here in quarter number two. I want to thank General Agent John Hulick with the Knights of Columbus. John's a great guy. And, of course, he provides members and their families access to insurance products from a financially strong and ethically sound company. It's John Hulick's mission to ensure that Brother Knights are being provided the protection and service they deserve. Call John Hulick, 570-574-1419. Permanent life insurance, term life insurance. Check out John Hulick and the Knights of Columbus. Crestwood beating Berwick 14 to nothing tonight. So here come the Royals now on third down and three. It'll be Armando. He's got Leon right alongside him on the left-hand side. Give fake to Leon. It'll be Armando running the football. Armando has got the first down. Armando keeps his legs moving. A couple of Holy Cross Crusaders over there near the sideline, peeling themselves off the carpet. One still on the ground, and that'll bring a timeout over there on that sideline. So there's 8.05 on the clock, and the Royals, they're driving right now. As they look at that injured player. Manuka Subaru, it's all we do. Located on 4141 Birdie Avenue, Buzik. They've got 42 Subaru Outbacks in stock. they got a whole bunch of other great Subarus as well. Toll free, 888-903-8015. You can visit them online. It is ManukaSubaru.com. You're looking for a family-owned business that's been around for a long time. You want to deal with those nice people, the Corbett's and their family. Think of Manuka Subaru, located there in Music, and they are open tomorrow between 9 and 1 o'clock. Great day. Look at a brand new car at Manuka Subaru. It's all we do. As gorgeous of a night as you're going to get for high school football, the season has been outstanding as far as the weather goes. Receiver over to the far left. Two receivers to the right. Here is Ormondo. Schuler. Schuler's got it. Schuler's running in the middle. Schuler run a rough shed through the Holy Cross defense, and he's got a first down. So Schuler does the job, and it's a chain gang mover there. For Holy Redeemer. We'll get it down to the 24-yard line. So a nice job there by the Royals, leading by seven, looking to add points to the scoreboard. Two receivers will head over to the left. That'll be Perda and Jendrajeski. They'll send out number 28 over to the far right-hand side, Halstead. Schuler in the backfield now. Ormondo. Schuler right-hand side, and a great tackle at the bottom of his legs. It is Tierney over there on that right hand side. And now Schuler is down for a brief moment. I hope he's okay. So another brief timeout on the field. I want to thank Comets Law Firm. They are a full service law firm serving clients of the greater Wilkes Barre and Scranton areas, Allentown, Philly, State College, Pottsville, and Harrisburg. Let the injury lawyers at Comets Law take care of your case. Motor vehicle accidents, Medical malpractice, personal injury, and family law, 570 829 1111. 
or you can just check them out online. It is CometsLaw.com for our friend Jonathan Comets and his team located on 46 Public Square in Wilkesbury. Schuler's still down. We're taking a peek at him. Schuler sits up. So Schuler gets up. That's a good thing. That's running back out there. As we thank our friend Chris Jones at LSEO. He's an award-winning digital marketing service that helps businesses in Northeast Pennsylvania rank higher on Google and generate more revenue with digital advertising. They're headquartered in the former five-star Guard Insurance Building in downtown Wilkesbury. Check out Chris Jones and LSEO.com. Here is Armando. Holy Redeemer throw it in the flat. They try to get a block, and Holy Cross tried to X that, see if they can pick one off again, but not able to do so. It'll bring up third down and 13. Somebody's behind on those downs on that scoreboard. Who would that be? <laughs> I can multitask. I could do it. Easy stuff. So two receivers out to the far left side, Perta and Gendrajeski. So they'll score Mondo. Great job. Throws a little loft. He's got a guy wide open, but coming over to knock that down is the quarterback. Now the safety, Sean Herbert. He had his guy, Ormondo, wide open back there. Ginger Jeske was just kind of sitting and waiting, saying, hey, hey, I'm open. Throw me the ball. But Tierney, or uh, I'm sorry, Herbert came over and knocked that down. That was a great defensive play there. Little lollipop there by Ormondo, but he's got a lot of talent. I'm sure he's going to bounce back, put a little bit more air under that one. 6.54 on the clock. The fans spread out in the stands here. Have done a nice job of social distancing here tonight. And, of course, we're giving you this game live on YouTube, on FoxCast. Here's Armando. He's got a guy over the middle. He's got his guy at Perna. He's down to the five-yard line. And maybe a little bit more. He could be knocking on the door of the goal line. So Armando does make up for it. And now, all of a sudden, we've got first and goal here for the Royals. So they'll spot this thing right around the one-yard line. So a great job, Ormondo finding his receiver. And the Royals looking to go up two scores on the Holy Cross Crusaders. Two receivers over to the left, Ormondo. He's got Leon back there with him. Little scissor action, Ormondo gets rid of one would-be, puts his head down, he's still rumbling. He fumbles the football and picking it up, and it's a touchdown. Holy Redeemer, who's going to get credit? That looks like number 55. So we're going to check our stats here, and 55 today happens to be Alex Hachkowski. He was playing some tight end. Alex Hedgkowski, the old Johnny on the spot over there, jumps on that football, and Hedgkowski, he used to be a tight end, now he's a lineman, but hey, he finds a way to get the score as 13 to nothing, honey, goes holy redeemer. Extra point is up, and it is gorgeous, it's good. 14 Zipperoni and cheese for the 
Holy Redeemer Royals leading against the Holy Cross Crusaders. Appreciate you joining us tonight here on BoxCast, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Periscope, on Apple TV, between Holy Cross and Holy Redeemer. Holy Cross has played tough. Yes, Redeemer deserves to be up two scores, but Holy Cross is playing very tough tonight. We thank our friends at Holy Cross High School. They're a Roman Catholic private high school in Dunmore, proud to support the Crusaders on the court, on the field, on wherever it is. They, they compete. They compete in the classroom as they're in the top 1% of SAT scores in seven counties. And, of course, they got a premier athletic program, Holy Cross High School, about family, about faith. We're about education, community, and athletics. We are committed to excellence. Holy Cross High School, located in Dunmore. Do a great job there. Of course, our friends at Holy Redeemer do the same. This will be kicked down, and how about that? Perfect kick right into the end zone, right on the right side of the pylon. I believe that is Nick Dunlavey doing the gig out there, kicking it away. It'll be first and ten here for Holy Cross. They trail by 14. So here come the Crusaders. They like trying to line up and run the football, not get too complicated. Redeemer loads the box. Holy Cross will give it in the backfield. They'll try to get a little bouncer, and then a flag flies in as it looks like an area of holding. So the carry over there by number 26, Grems. But this usually is a hold, and it will back up. Holy Cross at the 552 mark. So 552 in the second quarter. That soccer score is Dallas beats Berwick tonight, 2-1. to one. That game was on the John Mandola Show as well. On the John Mandola Show Network, able to give you a couple games at once. We're very fortunate and appreciate everybody watching tonight. Get to uh, some scores tonight. How Chikowski was part of that fumble recovery. Caden Ginger Jeske had a nice 35 yard touchdown catch earlier. So here comes Holy Cross. They're backed up. It's first and forever. Great catch out there for the Crusaders as they'll get it up to about the 18 yard line. That was Gavin Grem. So it was first and 20. It's now going to be second down and less than that. So the second down and maybe 13 it looks like. And it is. So Grems will come back in. Remember early in that first quarter, he was the first player on the field to get banged up a little bit. I mean, tonight feels like a, an August football night. I mean, it's in the 70s. It feels like 70 degrees out here. Gorgeous night. And we've got a good football game. It's 14-0 Holy Redeemer, but Holy Cross is battling here. It'll be rolling to the right. Herbert, and he's got to whiffle it away. And now we're going to get a flag here late. So they came, they laid the hit, and it looks like the Royals will get 15 yards against them, unless there was a hold over there. I'm thinking it was, oh no, they call, wow, grounding on Holy Cross. So there wasn't anybody out there, but it just appeared like, you know, somebody hit the quarterback towards the end. Didn't look like a bad hit, but 
you didn't know what to think. So that will be third down now and a mile. Well, let's add it up on the abacus. I don't even know if they still have any abacuses around. Holy crow. This is going to be third down and, oh, boy, <laughs> about 25. So when you're a running football team, what do you have for third down and 25? That's a tough one to pull up. Uh, let's see what Holy Cross can pull up. Remember they had that little pop pass earlier. They'll give it to the running back and nothing there. The interior line of Holy Redeemer does the job. That'll bring up a punting situation here for Holy Cross. Fourth and about 23. And back deep will be Perta. So there's 10 seconds on the play clock. Holy Cross just trying to get organized. Now five seconds. I don't think they're going to get organized. They're going to have to call a timeout, and they do. So 3.33 on the clock, and a wise, wise timeout right there by Holy Cross, as we thank our friends at the Cody Burris Memorial Foundation, OTAP, Organ Transplant Assistance Program, Foundation's mission to keep the spirit of Cody Jude Burris alive and promote awareness of organ donation to raise funds to offset some of the costs that families face when awaiting organ donation. Visit them at the Cody Brace Foundation.com. So we thank our friend as well, Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home. Compassionate care, professional service, servicing the greater Wilkesbury area. Two locations, 617 Cary Ave, 451 North Main Street, 570-826-0600 for Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home. Three thirty-three on the clock. So we've got receivers or back deep is Perto, that is, for uh, the Royals. And they came in hard to try to block that kick. Unable to get their ball bounces out right at the 40-yard line, and that is where Holy Redeemer will be in business. We're looking at a new set of downs, first and 10, 14 nothing. Redeemer in front. Holy Cross has to try to buckle down with 3.23 to go. Thank you for watching on Facebook, on YouTube, on Roku. Here is Ormondo. Pitch out right hand side. And spinning around goes the running back. That is number 24. And they have a couple different guys with different jerseys tonight. So I'm going to check with JP Aquilina, see who 24 is. And he'll text me right back because he's a JP on the spot kind of guy. <laughs> I see him looking over there at his phone right now. So a couple guys had different jerseys. And that's the way it is. It's no biggie. Ormondo now in the gun. He's got a couple of guys. He pitches out again to number 24. He's got wiggle room over on that left-hand side, making some headway. And he gets inside the 30-yard line. So that's going to be enough for a chain gang mover first down. First and ten. So this Taden Jendrajeski is 24. 
I don't know, did he have two jerseys or is somebody else seven? <laughs> because Tatum, seven, was doing a lot of good stuff. So here is Ormano. Ormano's got a guy. He's got Perna. Perna over the middle. He makes one little move, and he's got to go in for the score. From 29 yards out, it is a connection. Ormando to Zach Perda. Touchdown. So the Royals put 20 points on the scoreboard. And here comes the extra point. Should be none, maybe. The kick is up. It's no good. So the kick is no good. And it will be Holy Cross football when the Crusaders get the ball. Celebrating 94's, 94 years, McCarthy Tire. Been there for generations of family for the highest quality in tire service and scheduled maintenance. With over 50 locations along the East Coast, our family's growing with yours. Open tomorrow, 7.30 to 12. Service your vehicle with a family you can trust. Make your family a part of the next generation of McCarthy Tire. Visit them online at McCarthyTire.com. the kickoff. So they will boot this down. It'll go down to number four, Walchek. Walchek trying to find a little bit of room. He's across the middle, and Schuler gets his arms on him and takes him down right near the 30-yard line, and that's where Holy Cross will start out with 157 to go. First and ten here for Holy Cross. With 157 to go here in this first half. 20 to nothing is the score. Holy Redeemer leads it. We'll get to some scores tonight. 21 nothing Crestwood beating Berwick. They give it straight up the middle, looking for a little wiggle room, and Holy Cross has some wiggle room, and they got across the 50-yard line, still on his feet, running like a bear. That's got to be Tierney. Big carry there by the leg driver, Logan Tierney. So that's good enough for another first down here for Holy Cross, trying to drive here with a buck 42 to go. Tierney's got to get ready to go and get back in there for another big carry. So they load up on the left-hand side. Here comes Redeemer, stunting all over the place and going forward and nothing doing as Redeemer saying, listen, we're just going to drive and drive and drive and try to get you because we know that you're going to run the football. That was Grems. So Herbert goes back into the huddle. There's 103 on the clock. One of the parents yells, give us two plays. <laughs> so I backfield. Pitch it out left hand side. Gets a block over there and running forward down to the 38 yard line goes number 26 again, Gavin Grems. And now we'll get a timeout here by Holy Cross with 36.8 seconds to go. So Holy Cross just trying to quote unquote suck up some air to finish off this quarter. 
So we thank our friends at Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home, Compassionate Care, Professional Service, servicing the Greater Wilkes-Barre area. Two locations, 617 Cary Ave, 451 North Main Street in Wilkes-Barre, 570-826-0600. 36.8 seconds to go. I'm thinking about a friend that I hadn't talked to in a while. He, he passed away this past week, Mark Buss. God bless him and his family. It's been a very, very challenging week for his family, his son, Mark's wife, Carol, and the rest of the Buss family. Very, very difficult time for them. Our thoughts and prayers to Mark Buss passed away unexpectedly this past week. 20 to nothing, Holy Redeemer leads Holy Cross. High school football here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. It's the John Madola Show. So here comes Holy Cross on third down, a little itsy bitsy. They got receivers coming out. They throw a little popper up or it's picked off and picked off over there by the big Lineman, now linebacker Alex Hatchkowski. And he's still on his feet. And he gets down in Holy Cross territory as that ball popped up like a Jack Cablick volleyball. And it's going to be first down here for the Royals. So now the. Officials are going to talk in the center of the field here with 23.5 seconds on the clock. Sideline warning here for Holy Redeemer. So Valley West and Hazleton, that game canceled. Dunmore and Lakeland, that game canceled. Wilkes-Barre area. They're not playing tonight. Now the word with Wilkes-Barre area athletics is they may return next week. Nothing official has come out about the Wolfpack competing next week, but there is some inside word that it may happen as reported by some of the newspapers. I think I saw Steve Bennett report that. But again, I have nothing to go on with that situation with the Wolfpack. The Dallas girls soccer team beats Berwick today 2-1. to one. That was a big event and a big crowd. But again, we're all in a COVID situation. So, you know, it can't be too big. Here comes Holy Redeemer. Ormondo's got a guy in Perta. Oh, what an easy catch by Perta. Just stuck his hands out and grabbed it. And it's a touch me down. 52 yards. How about that for Holy Redeemer at the end of the half? 14.7 seconds on the clock. Perna stuck out his hands as if, hey, I got this, man. This is cool. <laughs> he just ran that thing in for the touchdown. Beautiful play there by Zach Perna. Granton prep all over West Granton, 49 to nothing. And that goes off the post and no good, 26 nothing. It's hard to keep up with what's going on in the world. I'm seeing a score now that Dunmore and Lakeland are tied at six apiece. But all week I saw that they were canceled. <laughs> so who knows what the heck's going on. you got to have a pulse on this 24-7. The developments of COVID and what has happened has just been absolutely crazy. Crestwood 21-0 over Berwick. 
Wallapaw back 14-0 over Honesdale. And the Royals just struck again. It is 26 to nothing. And Holy Cross will get a play or two, and the first half will be over. So how about Western Wayne? 13-8 over Valley View. Wyoming area, 29 to nothing, leading Nanticoke tonight. So cheerleaders here tonight at Wilkes-Barre Memorial for both squads. It is Holy Cross with a first down and 10. Ball spotted at the 11-yard line. And let's see what they do here to try to head into the half. I think they're just going to take a quick knee, and they do. So that is going to do it. It'll be 26-0, Redeemer with the lead. Thank Jen Rickey. State Farm located in Dunmore, 570-346-9626 for a free discount double check. Contact Jen Rickey. You can check out her Facebook page. And, of course, you can check her out as well. She's located right there near Holy Cross High School. I want to thank Jen Rickey State Farm. So 26 to nothing is the score. We'll be back for the second half here on the John Mandola Show.
here we go, quarter number three. Coming your way here on the John Mandola Show. Network, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Holy Redeemer will kick it off. Holy Cross to receive. Want to thank our friends at Comets Law Firm. Full service law firm serving clients of the greater Wilkesbury and Scranton area, Allentown, Philly, State College, Pottsville, and Harrisburg. Let the injury lawyers at Comets Law take care of your case. Motor vehicle accidents, medical malpractice, personal injury. Five seven zero eight two nine eleven eleven for Comets Law. Visit them at CometsLaw.com. Taken down around the eleven yard line, and coming forward is Tierney. Tierney runs over one of his own guys. Hopefully he's okay. He took a big hit and he'll get up towards the twenty eight yard line. So quarter number three. So Holy Cross coming out here with first down and 10. We'll bring out number 26, Gavin Grems. Give on that right-hand side, and then coming up across 35-yard line, it's Tierney still keeping the legs pumping. He's got a first down. So they give on the left-hand side, Gavin Grems, and he is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be about second down and 13 now. Give it on the right-hand side, and Matt in the backfield is Grimm, so it's going to be third down. Give on the left-hand side. Tierney's looking for room. Gets by the corner, and he gets up to the 42-yard line. Still not going to be enough for a first down. So fourth down here for Holy Cross. Looks like about eight. Now they'll say it's about seven.
pitch right hand side. Tierney, he's got some room. Tierney breaks into the secondary. He's got somebody's carrying with him as he gets spun down around the 39 yard line. So Wisniewski finally takes him down with Tierney. Makes a couple of carries. Got to get a little air on the side. And Tierney has done a good job. A big, strong kid, Logan Tierney. Here comes Holy Cross. We'll give it on the left-hand side, and Kazurski rips down number 26, Gavin Grems. We are live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Roku. We got to see if we can control our peeps on YouTube with some immature posting here, and this is what you get sometimes. So. Uh, what are you going to do? Somebody now thinking they're me and they're not. But this guy's got to grow up a little bit. <laughs> Jeepers. 7.47 on the clock. I backfield. They give it on the right-hand side and coming in that backfield quickly goes number 52, Dan Schuler. Nice job by Schuler. So it's going to be third down and eight. Left hand side, we got a flag down as Tierney tried to get some positive yardage there. So this will back up Holy Cross. Here comes Holy Cross, third down at a whole bunch. Right-hand side, Tierney. Tierney trying to run a couple of guys over, but it is Holy Redeemer right there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, fourth down and a whole bunch here. So that punt is blocked, and Holy Redeemer comes up with it on the left-hand side, and this is going to go the other way. Flag gets thrown. Caleb Hurley takes it in for the score, but there are flags on the field. So let's see if Hurley's blocked punt counts.
536 on the clock here in quarter number three. We thank our friends at LSEO, an award-winning digital marketing service company, helps businesses in Northeast PA rank higher on Google and generates more revenue with digital advertising. Headquartered in the former five-story guard insurance building in downtown Wilkesbury, Chris Jones and our friends at LSEO. So it's Holy Redeemer has the football, so that didn't count as a touchdown. But we will get a new set of downs here coming up. Redeemer, straight forward. They got some yardage. Schuler, Schuler running into the secondary. Schuler down inside the 20-yard line. He's got a first down for the Royals. So a nice job by Schuler. And Holy Redeemer doing the job, running guys in and out. Two receivers over to the left-hand side. And now we got flags. Looks like somebody moved up front. We'll get a false start here against Redeemer. Holy Cross, a Roman Catholic private high school in Dunmore. Proud to support our Crusaders on the court and on the field. And if, of course, in the classroom, you're thinking about a quality Catholic education, consider our team at Holy Cross High School. Financial aid's available. Schedule a shadowing visit. We're in the top 1% of SAT scores in seven counties. Or in NEPA, of course, we have some premier athletic programs. Holy Cross High School, we are about family, faith, education, community athletics. We are committed to excellence at Holy Cross High School. I want to thank Principal Ben Tallarico, the job he does there with his student athletes, his staff, the coaches. There's so many great people. We've got offsides now on Holy Cross. It's kind of so we go from what? First and 15. We're back to first and 10. I don't think we got to do anything with the downs. <laughs> I think we're back to regular stuff. So we're live tonight here at Wilkesbury Memorial Stadium, live on Roku and Facebook and Periscope, Apple TV, and YouTube. Schuler gets the carry. Schuler on the left hand side. Schuler, meandering, still on his feet is Schuler. Schuler with a tough run down to about the 12. Well, they're going to say it's a 13 yard line. So a nice job by Schuler. Running forward, does a good job there. It's going to be second down and about three. And like anything else, I know I mentioned before, people are all chatting some inappropriate silly stuff and then of course somebody hacks in and says they're me it was not me on YouTube chatting away there so uh, again you guys want live high school football games you got to be mature about it a couple of receivers to the left they'll bring over Perta over on the far right hand side here is Schuler running forward puts his head down and a flag gets thrown right where Schuler put his head down and then finally somebody's helmet comes off right near the goal line. Schuler saying, give me the touchdown. I want that. But there's a flag down anyway. Not sure who this is against. You can see Holy Cross, they're winded right now. And it's tough being out there. You're down 26. The Royals are running the football right now. So that's Wisniewski running off with the helmet that came off. And now a Holy Cross Crusader is down on the carpet. But he gets back up. That's number four, Walchak. Three twenty-five on the clock. I want to thank the Cody Barace Foundation and OTAP Organ Transplant Assistance Program Foundation's mission to keep the spirit of Cody Jude Barace alive, promote awareness of organ donation, to raise funds to offset the costs of families. When they face Oregon donation, visit the Cody Barace Foundation.com. Ormondo, Schuler, Ormondo keeps, Ormondo looking for room. Ormondo gets rid of a would be. Another one and then gets taken down around the 16 yard line where it's going to be second down and 
Let's see where they mark this. Actually, they're going to make it third down at about six. Twenty-eight nothing. Crestwood over Berwick. They're ready for Lake Lehman next week. That game live on the John Mandola Show. They give it left inside. Perta Perta's got room. Wiggles this way. Thought he should have went outside there. And inside the five yard line goes Perta. He's got enough for a first down as the Royals are knocking at the door. We're going to mark him down at the two, first down and goal here for Holy Redeemer. Clock is rolling at 2.08 here in quarter number three. 26 to nothing, Redeemer leading Holy Cross. Two receivers over to the left hand side. Wesneski touchdown. So a touchdown here for the Royals. As they get on that scoreboard, it is 32 to nothing. One forty-two on the clock here in quarter number three. And the extra point coming here from Nick Dunleavy. And the kick is up. And it is good. So it's now 33 to nothing goes. Holy Redeemer. Appreciate you joining us here on the John Mandola Show. I want to thank our friend John Hulick and the John Hulick Agency. Of course, he's with the Knights of Columbus, providing members and their families access to insurance products from a financially strong and ethically sound company. It's John Hulick's mission to ensure that brother Knights are being provided the protection and service they deserve. Call John Hulick, 570-574-1419. He's got a whole lot of personality. He is one good dude, known him a long time. Permanent life insurance, term life insurance, John Hulick, 570-574-1419. 1419. John Hulick is with the Knights of Columbus. So we'll continue to get you scores as the night rolls on. Crestwood, we said, in a romper room. Scranton Prep in a romper room as well. And of course, it is Holy Redeemer dominating. Well, apparently, Dunmore and Lakeland are playing. Earlier in the week, they were not. I don't know what happened and where that came from, but somehow <laughs> they're supposed to be playing football. Crazy stuff going on in the world. They get it down inside the 10-yard line. Moving it up on the right-hand side across the 33, maybe the 34-yard line goes Gavin Grems. So it's going to be first down and 10 for Holy Cross. They trail 33 to nothing, 134 on the clock. I backfield Tierney's been running tough tonight for Holy Cross, and the left guard looked like he moved a little quickly there, and that'll back up Holy Cross five yards. So 
don't know if anybody ever uh, brought it up, but again, both of the Holy Cross didn't play last year. They're difficult to get guys, but would they expect to get players for both programs to play? Like, would Holy Redeemer and Holy Cross ever join forces? I don't know logistically if they could ever do that. There's one school's in Dunmore, one school's in Wilkesbury. How would you pull that out? That'd be pretty darn tough. So you just see both teams fighting and scrapping and clawing and just playing their best tonight, and you like to see that. Here's Tierney, right-hand side. Tierney's got somebody on his back. It's Kazerski, and boy, he is just tough, Tierney. Kazerski almost had him down, but again, the strength of Logan Tierney. Just churning and burning those legs the best he possibly could. Buck 11 on the clock. So second down and 14. Here for Holy Cross. Tierney up the middle. Tierney, he's got some wiggle room on that left-hand side, looking to see if he can make the difference. Halstead over there, and then finally tackled over there by number 24. That's going to be Gendracheski. So it's going to be a first down for Holy Cross as Tierney just keeps scrapping and fighting and doing anything he could to try to get the Crusaders on the scoreboard. Tierney will come out and take a blow. So it'll be Herbert in that backfield. And that'll be the end of the quarter. So we'll go to quarter number four. Coming our way here, 33 nothing. Holy Redeemer leads it. We'll be back for quarter number four here on the John Mandola Show as we thank our friends at Manuka Subaru. It's all we do. They're open tomorrow between 9 and 1. You're looking for an Outback, a Forester, a Crosstrek, a Legacy. Toll free, 888-903-8015. Visit them online. It is ManukaSubaru.com. So quarter number four, 33 down. I think Redeemer leads Holy Cross tonight. I backfield here for the Crusaders. They'll give it to the running back, number 26. That is Rems, the 5'9", 165-pound junior. He might get a yard. It's going to be second and nine. Thank Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Funeral Home. Compassionate care, professional service, servicing the greater Wilkes-Barre area. They've got two locations right down the street here at 617 Cary Ave, 451 North Main Street, 570 Consider 
Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home. I backfield, Holy Cross, right-hand side, and tripped in the backfield. One of the guys fell down for Holy Cross, one of the running backs, and that's unfortunate there as Grems fell over him. So it's going to be third down and about 12 or 13 here. Tierney is over on the side. He has been... A little bit tired over here and might have a little bit more going on than that but he's been tough all night so third and 12 10 32 on the clock I backfield here for the Crusaders they're gonna send somebody out and oh sacking and a pack and goes Alex Hatchkowski so that'll bring up fourth down so a nice play in the backfield there by Hatchkowski, and that'll back up Holy Redeemer, or Holy Cross, that is. So good defense there by the Royals of Holy Redeemer. Nine thirty nine on the clock. And now timeout by Holy Cross. I want to thank Comets Law Firm, a full service law firm, serving clients of the Greater Wilkesbury, Scranton areas, Allentown, Philly, State College, Pottsville, and Harrisburg. Let the injury lawyers at Comets Law take care of your case, motor vehicle accidents, medical malpractice, personal injury, family law. Eight two nine one 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 one. Visit them online. It is CometsLaw.com as we have a timeout here. Holy Cross chatting just a little bit here on a fourth down and a whole bunch. Well, the Royal cheerleaders in the end zone near the scoreboard. Some of my greatest childhood memories were here at this stadium, back watching some high school football. Remember when those bleachers were higher? I remember when there were bleachers on this side? I remember when the turf was hard as a rock, like concrete. <laughs> Lots of memories here. Some state championship games here, some Unico games, some Big 33 games. There's a whole bunch of memories here that have happened. So here is Holy Cross. They're going to try to do something on fourth down, and it is sniffed out. So a nice job there. That looks like Christian Leon, who was there, to take care of that. So a nice job by Leon and crew, and Holy Redeemer will take over. So we'll get the new set of downs. LSEO is an award-winning digital marketing service company. Helps businesses in northeastern Pennsylvania rank higher on Google and generate more revenue with digital advertising. Headquartered in the former five-story guard insurance building in downtown Wilkesbury. LSEO, a resource to help ignite your online presence and visibility. Chris Jones, I want to thank him for his generosity of supporting us. and Check them out. They could definitely help you. It is LSEO.com. Here comes... The Royals. It looks like they got too many players out there. And they do. And we get a flag. So a little bit of change up. They get some new dudes in there and stuff like that. We got different guys wearing different jerseys tonight. So Jacob Hunter is wearing seven tonight. He is coming back in as a quarterback. Good athlete at Solomon Plains, and uh, came over to Holy Redeemer. So it'll be Hunter 
in the backfield as the quarterback. He will give it to his running back. And Wisniewski looking for room. Wisniewski finds a little bit of room. Wisniewski switches field. Wisniewski down the left sideline. Wisniewski weaving through. Wisniewski takes that thing to the house. But some yellow flags hit the field, and this may all be for naught. So that's a tough situation for Josh Wisniewski, who made a big, big play there for Holy Redeemer. In the meantime, one of the Holy Cross guys on the other side greets Wisniewski and says, man, that was a good run, <laughs> but one of your dudes back there held me or held somebody. So that's a little bit of a stinker, a, a Debbie Downer, so to speak, for Wesneski on a really nice play from him. So it'll be Holy Cross. They'll get some substitutes in here again. Tierney is over there, and he is spent. He just had a lot going on and a lot of fluids, and he's just kind of taking a seat, relaxing right now. Nine oh eight on the clock. So the penalty will be first and ten at the thirty-five for Holy Redeemer. After Wisniewski exploded for a touchdown that did not count. So it'll be Hunter. Hunter, not everybody was set. So Jacob Hunter's got some other guys all around him there. And Hunter again is on the second team quarterback. So it's good to get a rivalry like Holy Cross and Holy Redeemer and cover this game tonight here at Wilkes-Barre Memorial. We're fortunate to be able to give you this and want to thank our friends that have helped bring you this game, including our friends at Holy Cross High School. Hunter gives it to number 22, Leon. Leon trying to make some room there. And big number 68, Matt Tucker, tackles him. 5'11", 235, tackle. Going to be down to about the 29-yard line where it'll bring second down and about two. Eight thirty-five and counting here in quarter number four. John Mandola with you. Want to thank our friends at McCarthy Tire Service. We are driven by McCarthy Tire. Receivers over to the left-hand side. Hunter is in the gun. Hunter fakes it. Hunter keeps it on the left side. Hunter gets a block out there, and now he's razzling and dazzling, and Jacob Hunter on the right-hand side could take this thing to the distance, Jacob Hunter. So Jacob Hunter from 28 yards out scampers that for a touchdown. So 39 points now for Holy Redeemer and maybe point number four zero. So Jacob Hunter did the work as a receiver earlier and now here as a quarterback. Jendrzejewski is wearing a different number tonight. He normally wears seven and that extra point is up and it's good. So it's 40 to nothing now. Holy Redeemer dominating against Holy Cross tonight. As we thank our friends at Holy Cross High School. They're a Roman Catholic private high school in Dunmore. Proud to support Crusaders in the classroom and on the field. If you're thinking about a quality Catholic education, consider the team at Holy Cross High School. Financial aid available. Schedule a shadowing visit. They're in the top 1% of SAT scores in seven counties. We're in northeastern Pennsylvania. It's pretty darn good. Holy Cross High School. We're about family. We are about faith. We're about education, community, and athletics. Thank you to the Holy Cross community for helping us out and supporting us tonight. Here at Wilkes-Barre Memorial as Holy Redeemer and Holy Cross play some football. Yeah. 
Here's the boot. And it'll go out of bounds. And that'll draw a flag as Nick Dunleavy does the gig there. Redeemer calls a timeout to try to get them a little bit organized. We'll head over to our scoreboard to see what kind of scores we can pull down. 28 nothing. Crestwood still leads. Wyoming area 42 to seven. That's a final as the Warriors get a win. Wallen Paw Pack leads 21-0, prep up 55 to nothing. How about Western Wayne, 25 to eight over Valley View? Was it supposed to be that way? Crazy stuff. Northwest season is over. Tunkanic got postponed with Lake Lehman, or possibly it could be off the map. Delaware Valley 35 to seven over North Pocono. So here comes Holy Cross with 8.06 on the clock. And Redeemer has all their younger guys in. So we'll run it on the right-hand side, and they'll get some positive yardage there. Tierney still taking a seat over here. I believe that was number 26, Gavin Grimms. So that'll be second down and two now. Redeemer's had some good quality student athletes over the years. They're out there battling against the Crusaders of Holy Cross who are grateful to have a football team this year. Last year unable to get enough guys. There were guys interested but just unable to put it all together. And now that is a first down carry out of Gavin Grems. We'll get out towards the 50-yard line. That'll be a first and 10. Let's do it again here for Holy Cross, trailing 40 to nothing. General Agent John Hulick with the Knights of Columbus. Give him a call, 570-574. 1419. I want to thank our friend John Hulick for helping us out. Thinking of permanent life insurance or term life insurance, call John Hulick. He's a general agent with the Knights of Columbus. 570-574-1419. 623 on the clock and counting. First and 10. Here comes Holy Cross. I backfield for them. Under center is Herbert. He gives it in the backfield. And Kazurski right there to hold up the running back. So that was Grems. He gets backed up. They'll back it up a hair. It's going to be second down and 11, we'll call it, for the Crusaders. Beautiful, beautiful night for high school football here in northeastern Pennsylvania. We'll see what next week brings us. We're planning on doing some high school football next week and thinking about doing the Crestwood and Lake Lehman game. We may try to see if we could get some soccer in there next week or field hockey. We'll see how the week goes. And we'll give it straight forward 
and tackled there from behind. So nice tackle there by the Royals, number 30. And they don't have anybody listed as number 30 tonight on their numerical roster. It's been a little all over the place. But we knew who ran the ball. It was Mazolski out of Holy Cross. Third down and six right now for Holy Cross. Give it on the left-hand side. And they'll get a couple. So it'll be third down, fourth down now. And probably three and a half maybe. So we'll say it's fourth down and three. a long three. So here comes Holy Cross. 3.59 on the clock for the Crusaders. H back on the far right. They got a couple of guys in the backfield. Herbert will try to give it to his running back. Got a little bit of a hole. and Oh, he gets biffled right near the stick. I think it's going to be good enough for a first down. Official says, yeah, he's got it. Just by a little hair in his chinny chin chin. Mazolski. So a big hit there by the Royals, but not before Mazolski just got enough for a first down. Three oh nine in counting, forty to nothing. We are in quarter number four, the battle of the holies, holy cross and holy redeemer. Great people in both schools and both programs here, and they'll give it on the left hand side. Herbert keeps it. Herbert on the left. Herbert makes somebody miss, and Herbert down inside the thirty yard line. So tackled over there by Jake Coons. A couple more substitutions here coming in as it'll be second down and one. Two twenty two on the clock. Live high school football here on the John Madola show on Roku, Facebook, Periscope, Apple TV, YouTube. Give it to the running back in the backfield and holding on for dear life there. And then we get a flag down is number 50. So Caleb Hurley dragging down number 22, Mazolski. But we got a flag. Was it a face mask? Was it a hold? What do we got? Face mask against the Royals. So that'll be a first and 10 here for Holy Cross late in the game. Trying to get on that scoreboard. They're working and they're not giving up, and so many life lessons. want to thank our friends at McCarthy Tire Service, celebrating 94 years. They've been there for generations of families. The highest quality in tire service and scheduled maintenance are open tomorrow, 7.30 to 12. Visit them online, McCarthyTire.com. 1.37 on the clock, right side. It is number 26 again, Grems. Graham's trying to get to that pylon, and he just didn't get there. But great effort by Grems as he got deep inside the five-yard line. They'll see what they're going to say. Taden Gendrzejewski looked like the guy who got him out of bounds right near the one-yard line where it's going to be first and goal for the Crusaders of Holy Cross.
Left side. And Holy Cross comes up a little bit short. So Holy Cross is just saying, we got to score. We got to score. They want to score. You got to root for Holy Cross. In the meantime, Holy Redeemer is like, listen, we ain't letting this team score. They're our rival. We don't want them to score. Well, let's see what the Crusaders could do to try to bang this thing in here with 33 seconds on the clock. And, oh, it's a sacking and a packing in the backfield. So a good job there. And good old number four, Matthew Schuler, shoots right in there and gets to the quarterback. Third down at that five-yard line. Manuka Subaru, it's all we do. They're open tomorrow, 9-1. to one. You know, they've got 42 Subaru Outbacks in stock. They're at 4141 Burning Avenue Music. Toll free, 888-903-8015. Visit them online. It is ManukaSubaru.com. So third down with 20 seconds on the clock. And Holy Cross, they want to find a way to score. Do you do the pop pass here? Do you do a halfback pass? What do you try here if you're Holy Cross to try to get in that end zone? Young guys from Holy Redeemer say, we're not letting you in. In the meantime, Holy Cross, they want to pull this off. If they could get the edge, they might be able to spring Herbert. Long count. Herbert pitches right side. Grams, Grams gets in the right side corner. Touchdown, Holy Cross. With 12.4 seconds on the clock. Nice move over there by number 26, Gavin Grams. You got to like the no-quit mentality here of the Crusaders. You're down 40 points. It's easy to give up. It's easy to say, I don't want to do this. It's easy to say, who wants to put this ball in the end zone? But the Crusaders, they've got fight. They've got some fate. And they've got six points on the scoreboard. Good for them. Here is the extra point. Walchak. It's up. It ain't pretty, but it is good. So 40 to 7 with 12.4 seconds on the clock. And you got to feel right about Holy Cross, a Roman Catholic private high school in Dunmore. Proud to support the Crusaders on the field, on the court, in the classroom. You're thinking about a quality Catholic education. Please consider the team at Holy Cross High School. Financial aid available. Schedule a shadowing visit. Top 1% of SAT scores in seven counties. Holy Cross High School. We're about family, faith, education, community, and athletics. We are committed to excellence at Holy Cross. So there's 12.4 seconds on the clock. It's 40 to 7. Holy Cross has to kick this thing away. And they'll have Christian Leon back and Zach Perda as well. This kick will take a bounce, and Jindreski downs it at the 25-yard line. 
So 10.5 seconds on the clock, and Holy Redeemer will take over here and get the final play, and that will do it here from Wilkes-Barre Memorial High School. I'd like to thank our friends at McCarthy Tire in Wilkes-Barre, Manuka Subaru, it's all we do, Jen Ricky State Farm, Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home, LSEO, located in the guard building right there, overlooking the Susquehanna River, John Hulick Agency with the Knights of Columbus, Cody Barese Foundation Comments Law on Public Square in the Holy Cross High School in Dunmore. So the final score tonight, it is Holy Redeemer 40, Holy Cross 7. A hard-fought affair between both of these squads. Want to thank the accommodations here at Wilkes-Barre Memorial, J.P. Aquilina, the athletic director, and, of course, Ben Tallarico and Al Calais with Holy Cross High School. So that will do it. Holy Redeemer, victorious over Holy Cross tonight, 40-7. to I'm John Mandola. Have a good night, everybody.